Brian, you're on the air in Red Hill, Pennsylvania. Hey now, how are you doing? Hey now. Hey, I got a couple questions. First, um, how'd you make out with Ari this weekend with the dinner? Oh. Well, now I can reveal to you my master plan. Happy okay. birthday, Artie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ryan. As you last heard, I was taking Artie out to dinner on Friday night. So I said to Artie during the week, come over to my apartment at, at 730. And uh, I'll give you, so if we can drink and stuff, you'd get a ride with me. Right. And then my, my driver will drive you home. So uh, he goes, okay. So he shows up at my apartment at 730. We get in the car. <laughs> And uh, Beth had a gift for him. Uh huh. And did he opened go, that at the apartment, or no, 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 he didn't open it up. Did uh -huh. you open it up yet? Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, which gift? You that little didn't bag open I gave your you. gift when you walked in. I gave you a little bag. Oh, right here. Okay, yeah. No, I did open it. That was very, <laughs> very, very nice. Remember flirting Artie, with disaster. Remember, Artie said he beats off to flirting with disaster. How <laughs> weird is this now? <laughs> now you can beat did off. Did you tell her that I said that, or did I uh, like the movie? <laughs> no, I told her. I said Artie beat off to. <laughs> Nice. It's so funny how women are, you know, she's like, she gave me a beautiful card, and it says, Hardy Howard told me you enjoyed this movie. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. So anyway, uh, so we get in the car. DVD, you can pause it and everything. And what Artie did, and Artie and I were talking, and Artie had had a family dinner. Yes. The night before with about 27 people or something in his family at the 21 Club. How was that, Artie? It was great. I would recommend anybody who has the wherewithal to do that, to do that. It's like... His private little room at the 21 Club that goes back to the Prohibition days. It's got a lot of history, and uh -huh. it's the only table in the room. So they just cater to one party, and it's just a great experience. We had a lot of fun. Good. It fits about 20 people. So, uh -huh. so Artie had this family gathering and stuff, and uh, so he was really, he said to me in the car, I'm just glad we're going to dinner. The three of us <laughs> will sit, we'll have some conversation, blah, 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 blah. He was tired from his party before. Yeah, and he said to me, oh, you know, and, and I'm just so glad that, you know, my family got together. It was great. And he goes, at first, his sister, Stacy, was going to make the party a surprise party, but he was like, oh, I don't want any surprises. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, all that. So uh, we're driving down, and what Artie didn't know was, uh, for his 40th birthday, I uh, bought out the entire restaurant, John's, the pizza place. Yes, one right. of Artie's favorites. I took it over for the night. Unbelievable. John's wow. Pizza. You wait a minute. You had a surprise party for Artie? You did, I, I didn't invite you. That was the surprise. <laughs> so I'm I, surprised, too. So what I had done, and uh, Beth and I discussed this. We were, we were sitting at home. We said, what would be the ultimate party for Artie? And Beth goes, first of all, John's Pizza is the best. She goes, Artie would want, like, beer and pizza and pasta, like, the best he could get. Yeah. And she said, so um, we got to find a place that, uh, you know, that we could, we could you know, do something really fun like that. We doesn't have to get dressed up. A lot of great pizza places, too, don't have enough room at all to accommodate a right, place. Right, so that it's, big. it's a unique thing to find. You know? Right. So uh, in the search, and your friend Sheila there helped out. We should give Sheila she a She was uh, wonderful. A plug. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but but she, she, she helped us. We find out from the guy, John's. They've never closed the place down, ever, in its history. Right. Uh, but the guy said, hey, this sounds like it would be kind of fun. So he quoted me a price, and he said, okay, you have the place all night till 1 in the morning or so. Uh, we'll close it down. You got booze and food, and we'll bring in dessert from somewhere else, this and that, the other thing. So... Done deal. <laughs> Done deal, right? Nice. And it, it, no matter what anyone wanted, you want pizza pie, boom, you bring, you know, they'll, they'll make it up for you. That they, yeah. And then they also had uh, meatballs and uh, oh, uh, great Was shells, which are uh, unbelievable, yeah. uh, right? Am I right? I unbelievable. Forgot. Well, again, I love John's. I probably went to John's originally 25 years ago, and uh, yeah. In my days when I was in the village a lot doing stand up, I was at John's constantly. Uh, I was, and I always wanted my picture on the wall. At, at the end of the night, I, I took a picture with the owner. I think I'm finally going to get on the wall of John's. Good for you. And I had it, I, I decided that day I'm going to run 87 miles so that, <laughs> so that I, you could eat. So that I could eat. So I had so much food. I had. Four slices of pizza. I had Whoa. tons of shells and this and that oh, beer. Oh, so you were pasta loading yeah. after your marathon. Yeah, and I was drinking so much beer. I love that beer. Beer? Yeah. Robin yeah. Howard had, uh, my count was five. Five slices of pizza and Might a few have been five. cold beers. And it was just, and I was sitting wow. next to Howard having beer and pizza. Oh, wow. yeah. So, so, we, so we pull up to John's yeah. with Artie and uh, all, all the uh, maniacs that I invited to Artie's party. <laughs> I hear them all the way out on the street going, shh, shh, shh. 
Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Everybody quiet. Down. You know, they can't even do it. They can't even do that, right? So we get out of the car, and Artie's like, uh, where is this place? What place are we going to? I go, oh, no, no, no. It's next to John's. But, you, but, you know, so he was all confused. <laughs> right. And we were in the middle of a heavy conversation and everything, but I was really focused on surprising Artie. Right. right. Beth gets out. We get out. And Beth was dressed like a little slut, which was great, <laughs> right? Was Beth, uh, Beth looked fantastic. Yeah, she was dressed like a slut. She said, I'm going to dress like a slut tonight. Mm. And I said, well, everyone will appreciate it, I think. <laughs> you know. So uh, we get... We... Double A wasn't there, was he? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, right. no. So the, the, the people invited were a couple of Artie's... Yeah, uh, I don't even know what the guest list was. It was a couple of people from here, a couple of p comedians that uh, Artie... Uh, your boyfriend was there. That's why we thought you'd show Ooh, up. Oh, yeah, it was... Uh, oh. Jimmy was... Jim was single. No, they the three. I go, uh, I go, hey, Jimmy, where's your girlfriend? He goes, I wow. I to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> the three I'll comics. I'll my balls on her later on. The three comedians they did invite were some people who are close friends of mine, Nick DiPaolo and Joe Matarese and Jimmy Florentine, and only one of them was single. Only one of them had no date. <laughs> so, you know, I guess Robin was busy. <laughs> yeah, she was detoxing. I'm not kidding. She was. No, detoxing. I know, I know. I figured she was doing something no. healthy. So. Well, well, anyway, in fact, this all came about because Robin had said to me, "Let's get people together." I said, "Oh, it's Artie's birthday." I was talking to Beth. I said, "We're going to throw him a surprise party, so we're all going to get together." But, yeah, and then I couldn't go. Right. So we were going to make it the following weekend, but then it, it, birthday would have yeah, passed. Yeah, right, right, right. would have been kind of no, weird. Do it now. So I'll just make plans with Robin and Robin trot, did, trot her uh, around. Robin did offer me a fantastic gift, though. What was that? Uh, we're going to go Are you going to see... detox with her? <laughs> yeah, that's what I really need. She's going to wrap you up in a blanket? That, that would be the nice thing to do for my health. But uh, no, we're going to go see uh, Chaz Palmentari is doing a limited uh, run of uh, a Bronx Steel. That was originally a one-man show that he had. Yeah, and he yeah. performed and wrote, so we're going to go check that out, which will be amazing. Yes. It's very thoughtful of you. We'll get together today and, and uh, Map match out. our schedules. But I can't tell you how special this was. Like, I, uh, the, the stuff with my family, it was so generous and so wonderful, and I hate attention with birthdays, and I always thought I would hate a surprise party. I uh -huh. always said, I hate, I don't want to fucking deal with that, and I found out that I love surprise parties. <laughs> Artie called me, Artie called me next day, he gave me a very nice phone call, uh -huh. and he goes, I found out something about myself. I love surprise parties, and I love getting gifts. You know, I said to somebody, everybody thinks they hate a yeah. surprise party, but then they have it, and they appreciate it. Yeah, I couldn't tell if you were happy we were having a surprise party. I didn't know. You know, I was oh, like, oh, I, I hope he think. likes this. Oh, you know, because I put on a collared shirt for uh -huh. the restaurant, but I had a T-shirt underneath it. As soon as we walked in, it was like a, a collared shirt right, right off. I had the T-shirt. I had pizza dough powder <laughs> all over it by the end of the night. I had, I mean, it didn't kick, off, kick in how amazing it was until... Like, it started to thin out at about 11, 11.30, uh -huh. and we were drunk, and there was some of us <laughs> left, and the, the people sitting there go, go, listen, guys, do you want more pizza? We'll make whatever you want. Oh, Every, everyone, you got the whole rest. You got the rest. for you. <laughs> well, everyone had left except for Artie, Benji, Ralph, and... The Pace, uh, the and pace. the Pace, like, Pam got there late. So. Yeah. So they're just sitting there, and I have the place rented till 1 till in the one morning. Yeah. So the owner said, if you guys want another round, wow. start all over again. They oh. said, yeah. So the whole <laughs> place, and meanwhile, people on the street are trying to get in. And yeah, I, they can't. And uh, Ronnie and my Mike, we're, we're watching the place. People were really pissed because it, it's like sort of a New York City landmark. And, people, and they, they don't even take reservations, no, do they? No, no you, you walk, walk in. in. Yeah. So uh, it was great. It was really great fun. It was a good crowd of people. Uh, it, you know, it, it's funny, too. Robin couldn't make it. Fred... I couldn't make couldn't it Couldn't make oh. it. Why were, why were you, you know, no I had, show? I had a gig. I was in Texas. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I had the wrong yeah. date. Uh, yeah, he, he, so he had, had you canceled it and had it this weekend, I would have been able to make it. And the other so person, I, no one understands. Beth, Beth no one understands having a gig more than me, Freddie. That's great. Uh, Beth I called apologize. each person, and uh, the other person who wasn't there. So Beth calls up um, Richard Christie. Yeah, Richard, Richard Christie wasn't there. Yeah, he didn't make what? it. What? Yeah, 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 so he goes. Hey. Oh wow! He goes. <laughs> he goes. Beth, you know how much I love Halloween. Oh, so Beth, Beth doesn't know shit about Richard. Right, she's yeah. going. Yeah, who you would know, know that? She goes. You know how much I love Halloween. We've been our favorite yeah. line now to say to each other is, "You know how much I love Halloween." 
And she's going, I don't know that, and I don't give a fuck. You know, it's like, hey, can you come or can you not? So he goes, me and Christy. By, by the way, I realize his last name is Christy. His girlfriend's Christy name is Christy. Is going to be Christy Christy? <laughs> me and Christy Christy. Christy squared. <laughs> Christy to the 10th power. Oh, that makes it even sense. I go, wait a they second. have to get married now. Yes, I'm not yeah, like, absolutely. I, I said to bet Christy. Christy Christy. <laughs> She's Christy. I'm Christy. So he goes, me and Christy love Halloween. And we have everything booked up for the whole month. We love to go to Salem and go to ten different haunted houses. Uh, and we planned it. Now, maybe I could switch my plane flight. And, and, and Beth's on the phone going, oh, my God. <laughs> could you imagine, like, this girl, she says she loves the haunted houses as much as Richard. My theory is she didn't. Right. She, she gets never invited. went to a haunted house in her life. Well, <laughs> she gets called... invited to what's going to be. In a, it's such, what, what a great time that yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's got to go to Salem. So, so we called Richard in September, you know, you know, and, and Beth goes, it's September, wait, Artie's party's October 13th or right, so. Right, he's 12th. already booked 12th. it? Well, yeah, we did it on the 12th, and it's like, she's like, he's already, that's not Halloween. You don't understand. You don't know how much I love Halloween. Maybe we could, we're supposed to be in the haunted house Saturday morning, maybe we could switch our plane. <laughs> and, and, and Beth, every detail of his life right. was, was being laid out. Out there. I mean, that is astonishing. Could you move the party to Salem? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Uh, Isn't there a John's Pizza in Salem? Uh, yeah, maybe when, we should just move the whole party for Richard. Yeah, I heard you were really perplexed. Well, when she called me, I was actually at Halloween Horror Nights in Florida. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I was like, I really wanted to go to the party, but I actually booked my Salem trip a year ago because it's hard yeah, to this get... Is, this is everything he told Beth. He goes, I booked it a year ago because it's hard to get reservations if you don't book a yeah, year in advance. There's a lot of idiots like yeah. you. Oh, man, this was like this was like a convention for Halloweenies, like uh, people Halloween. like me. Halloween. Halloween. I'm a Halloweener. <laughs> oh, it was the best. <laughs> so anyway, here's what it sounded like. Uh, Fred, you need to put up the audio, but uh, here, here is how Howard, Howard TV uh, has tape of Artie walking into John's Pizzeria right. for a surprise party. Here he is. <laughs> Here's Beth. There's Artie. There's me. I mean, I was, I was duped. To, it, it worked completely for the record because I, you know, you've taken me out to dinner for my birthday before, and right. I, you know, I. You were really surprised, right? Nobody ruined it. Genuinely, when you set Thank up, people God. might have ruined it. You didn't hear the noise and coming in. Or no, anything. I mean, I was duped to the point where I, the first person I saw was Teddy, uh -huh. and I, I immediately said to myself, "God, did something happen?" My sister had to fly to Italy that day. I'm like, "Did something happen? Was something wrong?" Did oh you, no! My, and then, I mean, so I was, I was surprised. I mean, up to the last minute, I didn't know what was going on. And then, I mean, I got to tell you, man, I um, the feeling of uh, appreciation and love, and and uh, it's so thoughtful to do that at a pizzeria. And <laughs> I don't know, it just I really and even drink beer with you. Yeah, I really got emotional about it. Sheila told me how hard it was to, you know, you, you went back and forth with them. We never shut it down, and yeah. and uh, how you know, God knows what you spent, but even just the thought of having it at a it place ain't cheap. like that. No, I'm closing sure. down all restaurant and that's uh, Yeah, I I heard a few of the details. And Sheila said, yeah. "Yeah." Then they thought about it, and then they decided to really come up with a price. You know, and the foot, the <laughs> and foot what trap. They thought that well, would, yeah, well, you got to, you got to, if, you, if, you, if you close it down, you got, they've got to make sure that they're going to make what they made that night. Right. And you know, yeah. the foot traffic they get on a nice autumn evening in New York. I mean, people are going. You could say, I mean, it's a legendary place. Yeah. And uh, how good is beer and pizza? And we, I don't we, know. Oh my I god! I wasn't there. Oh, I mean, for I, sake. I really got the feeling like I, I really said to myself, I said, I'm so glad that these people are in my life. They really feel like another family to me. Aww. I, 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 
Howard, it was so generous and so thoughtful, and I was blown. I was blown away by it. Great. I, I no, I knew you. I, I thought you were having a good time when we first walked in. I went, oh, maybe he didn't want this, but right. I, I just thought it was so much fun. Well, it takes adjusting, and then I mean, get. I mean, we were all. I and mean, then the, you start well, to really appreciate. Yeah. Well, right? when you plan for Artie, I said, well, either it's a pizzeria or we fly <laughs> everyone to Afghanistan for a poppy field. Uh, where we just, <laughs> A heroin den. A heroin, yeah, well, like, take him to a real life opium den. That would have been thoughtful as well. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but Artie, then, I closed down an opium den for you. We're all gonna get what high that, together. What does that cost? <laughs> Probably more. But I, I uh, the reality of it said it. It was me, uh, Howard, Gary, uh, Ross, Tim Savior, and Ralph. We're all sitting in a little booth. And I'm sitting next to Howard eating pizza and beer, and it was we were joking, laughing, and it was nothing but fucking fun. Oh, and then good. at 11:30, we're all like a little lit because we were drinking the whole night. And the guy said, "Hey, d dude, what do you want? You want more pizzas?" We were like, "Yeah." They got four pizzas out in a heartbeat, okay. hot off the fucking wow. grill. And uh, and Artie has willpower too. Like I'm sitting what there, do you mean? I'm I'm sitting there chowing down on multiple different pizzas, vegetable mm. pizzas, all kinds of pizzas are out there. Uh huh. And the guy says, Artie, what's your specialty? What's your favorite pizza? Like, this is so cool. And, and then Artie goes, well, I like sausage and pepper. Or sausage, sausage and mushroom. mushroom. Right. right. So uh, I'm sitting there eating and eating and eating. And Artie's <laughs> looking at me and he goes, I go, Artie, get a slice. There's a million slices around. He goes, oh, I'm waiting for my special pie. <laughs> I go, well, why don't you have a piece while you're waiting for... No, 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 I'm waiting for my special pie, and he's waiting. I see him now. He's getting nervous. He's looking around right, at that he's, guy. He's beginning I was to sweating. Break. He's the going pie, through withdrawals. I watch Artie. The pie comes out, and I see the guy The guy took a little step away from Artie. He goes, no, that's my pie. <laughs> And uh, the pie comes over and slicing the guy goes, you want me to, Mr. Lang, you want me to leave this pie on your table? No. He goes, and Artie's now like, yeah, you know Artie wanted it on the table. He goes, no, 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 no. Put it over there. Other people can oh, share. Oh, you had it. to share it? Yeah. Oh. I had about four of that, the slices of that one. And by the time I got to your booth, though, I had already had a ravioli and meatball plate. Oh. So, uh, and then I went to some garlic knots and then I probably ate. Eleven slices throughout the night. <gasps> Did you? But it, yeah, but it was it was like you know it's, it's John's pizza is smaller pizza, smaller yeah. like a bar pie. But I I had about eleven slices and probably uh, <laughs> I don't know. I had a bunch of pieces of sausage. They had great sausage and pepper. Uh, they had meatballs in and out of the gravy, which is Ooh. very key for anybody yeah. who knows how to put a meal together like that. The only person, of course, who was an asshole. I wonder if they have tape of this. I mean, really, I got upset. Beth got real upset. What happened? So the people at John's are being great. The whole place yeah. is open to us. Uh -huh. Right. I mean, they couldn't have been friendly. So then at that point, well, guess who do you think the asshole of the night is? Well, I don't know who everybody was, so you didn't give me the uh, okay. whole guess. All right. Well, well who, a couple it, it, without it, knowing. All right. It would either have to be Sal. Okay, or, bingo. Or, Sal. There you oh, go. All right. You he was my number one. Ronnie was my backup. Sal, no, no, Ronnie was really weird. Was he mellow? What? Ronnie, Ronnie was, was extra subdued, mellow. Yeah, he was. And like, now he's serious, Ronnie. Oh, like, and he's mm. got a new personality yeah, now? Yeah, now, now he's Another like, bad personality? Well, this one's better than the other one. Here's the one. deal. Had Richard been there, I think it would have been neck and neck for Sal and Richard, because Richard... No, well, Richard it probably would have gotten worse. Now, you know what? There was that, that there was it was a really embarrassing moment at that party that Robin and I threw for you at the engagement thing. He kind of stood up at one point. He was totally drunk. His gums were like purple. <laughs> And he was kind of right. like reeling back and yeah. forth. Yeah, it was he, just really... he does this thing where you can't walk right. Yeah. 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 And I was like, dude, like, this is a party with your friends and your peers. It's like, you know, I know you like to get drunk, but try to behave a little bit one night. So why was Sal the big asshole? Yeah, why? Okay. Sal's wife was there, you know, uh -huh. and, and stuff. And she didn't seem real friendly to me, really. I don't know what the deal is going on between him and him. You know, I don't know what's now going on. Now you're having a problem with Christine. Do we need to bring in a uh, counselor? No, 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 no. Let's but I, mean, I don't know. I think I think she's loopy from you know being married to Sal. Sal. Who wouldn't be? So anyway, um, a little shell shock. Now I can see why. Because like we're there and we're having this great time. Yeah, it sounds like a beautiful night. Couldn't have been so more Sal, fun. It was Sal great. grew up in a pizzeria, so I guess he said oh, to the guy, "Is it John's? Can I make one of make a pie?" Oh, oh no. So Sal gets behind the, the thing over in that behind the thing but like he's there and uh -huh. he starts making a pie okay fun good fun scott the pace somehow i wasn't there for the beginning of this but scott the pace said oh i'll make a pie too so they had like a pie making contest and i suppose scott got his expertise at showtime don't know showbiz. Right. i don't know i didn't see showbiz. scott's pizza i just walked in and Sal was putting his pizza in the oven, and his hands were full of sauce. He takes his hands and smears uh. them all over Scott DePace's face. Uh. Like tons of sauce. Uh. 
<laughs> and DePace gets pissed off and, of course, takes his hands and rubs them on, on, um, on Sal. So he returns the favor. And what, like, all of a sudden, Beth says to me, you know what? These people are so lovely at John's. They're being kind and letting them make it. He says, She's They've a, never done this before. Right. She goes, it's, I go, guys, stop it now. I, I said, Sal, it wasn't really Scott. It was Sal. I go, Sal, enough. I don't want this now. This is a, a restaurant. It's not your fucking home. Wow. Oh, God. How come you can't have a good time if Sal is around? Yeah, show the clip of that. Yeah, it looks like they See, I didn't see it. I oh, just heard I about it. Thank God I was there. Oh, oh that's And the pace is and a right good sport. Right in the sauce pot. I would have punched him. Oh, oh no. Like why would he do that? What what possesses you to just do the, the guy from John's like afraid. Yeah. yeah, and it was going to escalate, I know. Right. And I just went, "No. No, no, no." You're no, not going to destroy this no. restaurant. No, you fuckers. An artist and I, party. And it wasn't the pace. It was Sal. Yeah, but I mean, if Sal does something stupid, you don't have to return the favor. That's yeah, not but a I, I'm sure the pace was embarrassed. It was all over his head. Scott yeah. had soft all know over that, his head. I that, but still, you gotta, you know, you yeah. gotta maintain. Right. Who wants? Then would have been the the drunken brawl at John's that Howard started. Yeah, who wants Sal's hands on your face, even if there's no sauce? The rest of the night, Sal had you know sauce all over his shirt. Though. Right. And I was like, because I, I didn't see that, and when I saw Sal, I said. What the fuck happened How did to you? that happen? I said, what did you do? He's like, ah, me and the Pace got into a food fight. I'm like, what? How did that yeah. happen? Uh -oh. But where did that sauce come from? Because if that's the like a pot of sauce that they used. No, they gave them each a little piece. Oh, uh, thank goodness, because I'm yeah. thinking they put their no, hands in No, it. no, 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 none of that. They, it was great, though. It was wow. great fun. I was really, I was really pleased with myself. It was a blast. I do want to ask Sal why... Uh, why yeah, yeah. where is he? How does he feel this morning? <laughs> He's been bumming out all weekend that you're going to bring up the fact that he was having that food fight. It just, it's just like, I think Beth... I think but it, he never I, changes. Did you do something with your facial yeah, hair? what did you do? Oh, oh, you a what did you do? <laughs> I screwed up shaving. I, I set the wrong setting on my razor, and I cut off the right side of my mustache. You had a mustache? And now what do you have, like a, like a terrorist a beard? <laughs> yeah, you look like... Dude, shave that Why not off. shave the whole thing? You don't like the whole thing shaved? Nah, I have no chin. I look like a turtle without this fucking thing. I, really? I look so just paint yourself green. That's a calculated thing that you know, you think you look bad Look at that beard, Robin. That uh, was stupid. Um, when he walked in here, I was like, who the heck is that? It's my Halloween costume. <laughs> Dude, why do you have to... <laughs> like, why do you, like, even Beth said, like, how the fuck would we invite... Like, now I know we'd never invite Sally right. anywhere. She goes, she goes, she goes, she looked at me, she goes, oh, please, don't, don't, don't let him wreck this, re this party. Uh, I know, I know no. you guys are always worried and paranoid about me, I, I, which and I, I understand. And there's a good reason for right. it. Right. So I just want to let you know that, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And I, it wouldn't have escalated. As soon as you said stop, I, I stopped him. <laughs> but why do I have to say stop? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what, what yeah, are you doing? It would have escalated had you not been... Like, why'd you have to put sauce Stop. all over First the face's all, I, head? I put a dot on his head. Yeah, so he, what, why do you have to go there, man? He threw a whole glob of sauce back in my face. Yeah. A glob. And I Can you it. blame him? I think he went a little overboard. No, We're having a nice time. Know, he, he doesn't know how much is on his face. He's embarrassed. Well, you know what? You, you when you do things like that, you have to gauge on how far you can go. Scott crossed oh, the line. Oh, I see. You know, oh, I did the. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you did it the right way. Okay. I tried. Okay. I, I didn't realize. <laughs> Sal, you're two adults. You picked gravy up, no matter how much it was, and put it on another adult's face, like in like I mean, come on. I beat him in the pizza competition. It was my way of you know celebrating. It, and and by the way, Howard, my my wife uh, thought you looked very good that night. Thank you. She said. <laughs> something that I was kind of shocked myself. She said she she finds you to be very sexually appealing. Oh, well, she wasn't being friendly to me. I was coming over and talking to her. I remember about... she was talking to uh, yeah. M Melissa Zapin, and you walked over to say hello, and did you right. hear what I said? What? I said, uh, hello, uh, somebody's saying hello to you. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, 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 Ralph, you're on the air. Uh, you missed the greatest thing that Sal did later in the evening. Uh, for, for some reason, I'm not really sure. Uh, <laughs> As a tribute to Richard. Down, down the street a little bit, there, there was a deli with a bunch of pumpkins out. Oh, yeah. So Sal, uh, Sal pulled down his pants and rubbed his cock on the pumpkins. Why would you do that? I slapped my dick on the pumpkins. It's a tribute to Richard, because Richard loves pumpkins. In public? Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing? Uh, wait, it's in the village on a Friday night at like 12 o'clock, and there's people everywhere. What are you doing? And right. that's somebody's store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this was right, that's right next to the bar. Dude, I, can't, I, can't give, I, can't I just give. saw a video of it, which will be on Howard TV, but I mean, that's ridiculous. That was the funniest thing ever. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. Why would you do that? 
Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an asshole. I really am. I, I have assholitis. Is it when I, you're drinking you lose impulse I control? wasn't even drinking. If I drank, I would have taken a shit on those pumpkins. Uh, now I mean, turns to me and goes, should I do it? <laughs> too yeah. much. You know. Uh, Dominic Barber, what do you want? You know, you know, what really interests me was, of course, it was a pizzeria, which where he loses it. But I have to tell you, after 22 years, the greatest goose bump chill I ever had chills was what he said last week to our favorite comedian's girlfriend how he said those words to her i, I still don't get and yeah, why well, he said them i don't know didn't you get oh, we're not going to go overboard with that, with that. Yeah, that all right thanks that dominic we're not, not going to revisit that what you talking about? i know what talking about. The, the roast of uh, oh, 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 oh. you got to really listen carefully when dominic calls yeah right all right look you know howard but speaking of books i also i had a wonderful gift for artie did you yeah, hear about this no. what did you do now gary sabotaged my gift completely How i wanted that? to do something thoughtful for artie i wanted to make him something from the heart i wrote him a book up based on his stories through the eyes of a child. Right. I drew it with crayon. It's called Artie is Funny. Mm -hmm. And it was all his stories, him dressed as a pig, him getting a load on his chest. It was a beautiful yeah. book. And Gary comes in the last minute. He goes, you're a weirdo. I'm, you, you, Hold don't, on. Don't do this. This is going to upset Artie. I go, how can it upset Artie? It's a touching thing. And I sat down with Mary Delabate and Melissa Zapin and, every, and Pam. Sabian, and they said that was one of the most touching, wonderful things, and Gary He's ruined so retarded, it. so retarded, Howard. Re you really are like, you really are not a bright person, I realize, and I sincerely mean a, that. It was a wonderful Because he's gift. talking about how he sat down with a, I walk in, right? I look on Sal's screen. There's a picture that, uh, like, a five-year-old drew of a troll wearing a pig nose. Look, look, that's the right. cover of the book. Look, Howard. Right. Howard, look at that. Yeah, that's so, pretty funny. So, it's so, called no, Artie is Funny. So See, the whole uh, thing is about Artie getting alone, and I just said, oh, what's that? He goes, Artie's birthday thing, and I said, oh, that's funny. And he goes, it's really touching. And I said, well, I don't know that it's touching. <laughs> I go, it's funny to you. You're making fun of Artie. You know, there's the one with, it's a Coke story and Artie getting a load on his chest. I yeah, go, but Artie may find it funny. I go, but I don't think that it's touching. And he goes, it's very touching. It's from the, it's from <laughs> a five-year-old. Look at that. No, but hold Artie on. Artie is funny. Artie is big. Artie gets silly, dressed like a pig. And you I know, just told look, him I didn't think it was touching. <laughs> It's okay. not you know touching, what? but it's fun. Would it, you have liked that, Artie? I, mean, I wouldn't have offended me. I Look at mean, that. <laughs> Artie is funny. Artie's the best. Artie has something stuck on his chest. And there's him with the Yankee shirt and the stain on his chest. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I didn't weird. talk him out of it. I just said it's not touching. Right. Look, I, 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 this is one for you, Gary. What? Artie loves sports. Artie loves bets. He cheers for the Yankees and boos at the Mets. I, 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 who I cares? See, I know it's a dumb. A, it, what's he going to do with this? But Sal, what's Sal, he going to do with it? don't misdirect the fact that you were an asshole on Friday night. Don't mm. fucking throw I'm it on me. I'm not misdirecting yeah, you're it. By the way, you're just so fucking out of the mix. I mean, I can't have you to any party. I don't blame you. I wouldn't buy it. No. For a little sauce. Uh, uh, dude, come on. I'm in, I'm, I rent out a restaurant for Artie and everything, so you got to make it about you? No, I, st I st first of all, on-demand asked us to have a pizza competition. I didn't ask to do that. W what is this note? Ask Sal to read the poem he was going to read to Artie That is a poem. I oh, turned it, it into a poem because uh -huh. Gary sabotaged it. And that my, was my mistake because Gary's not a creative Gary did person. you a big favor. Then Sal goes home and tells his wife, and his wife goes, Gary's absolutely right. That's not touching. I didn't tell him not to give it to Artie. I just said... But what would Artie do with that? Right, I mean, really. Like, like who he wants it? He's a grown man. What is he going to do with that it's what do you what do you think artie well listen the fact that you put time into a birthday gift would have been you know uh nice and and i would have said thank you wouldn't have offended me but ultimately yeah what am i you know I'm you were gonna were you gonna read it or are you gonna throw it on the trash heap uh i mean you know i wouldn't have thrown it out for you know a little okay. while out of tribute to, <laughs> yeah, i mean it's just i mean no, i mean it was nice that if, like, if someone it's spends your time on you're a making a card for it's very creative it's artie's Edgy stories through the eyes right. of a four-year-old child. See, that was the biggest mistake. Listen to that shitbag in that you're fucking cage of his. You're not a creative person, Gary. You're That's why you're a producer. Me. You're not in charge of creativity. The yeah. This has come from the same guy who fucking... Well, go fuck yourself, you fat-lipped dick. Well, then why would you listen to him, Sal? You should have just given it to me. I mean, I shouldn't have listened to this asshole. His own wife. His own wife was telling him that he sabotaged it. Like, why'd you do that, Gary? He called me a weirdo. It's a nine-set, you cheap fuck. What's that? Just spend a fucking nickel on Artie. He's been good to you. Spend a nickel? I put my time into it. I put my heart into it. That was the whole point. you retarded that your time is worthless. What did you give him, you ass licker? 
party? Would you like to tell him? <laughs> he actually gave me my favorite gift of the night besides the party. Uh, a new uh, iPod that I desperately needed completely filled. iPod, iSmart, they're a dime a dozen. Right, you can walk into any right, fucking right. place and get one. Right. So unoriginal, so uncreative. Typical and for Gary. the record, Sal, Sal and his wife got me a T-shirt that said emotional friend on it, which I thought was funny, and he got me a $100 gift certificate to a bookstore. So he did spend money. Everybody was very nice. And <laughs> Someone was telling me know. that Scott the Engineer was grabbing anyone he could while he was eating to talk about his hernia operation. Oh, oh really? He was there. See, I still don't have a full list, a full there. Uh, picture of who was there. Oh, yeah, Scott was there. The story is that um, he sat down with Jim, who works here, Jim's girlfriend, and she was eating, <laughs> and he was starting to talk about his operation, and somehow I heard the word bowels were involved. Oh, boy. She's eating, and he's talking about his bowels? Bon appetit. Well, my, b actually, my bowel... <laughs> While you eat your pizza and ravioli, let me tell you about my bowels. Yeah. First of all, you have to understand what a hernia is and to what extent they invade the pro the body to k fix it. At first, they thought it was a small hernia. Then they realized my small intestine fell down into my right testicle. Do you have any idea how long the human intestine is? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, did you just throw up? <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, someone told me about that at the party, and I... I finally saw the girl later in the night, and apparently she was very open about how grossed out she was. So really? She was, yeah. Yeah. How many people would you say were there? Oh, 72, I think oh, the count was. the big party. Yeah. Was, I mean, yeah, it's not a huge room, so it was. Uh, it looked like a very happening scene. Mm. Yeah. And I had some of uh, the folks from the news department and some of the people from here and some uh, artists. Yeah, I heard uh, that uh, the news department wasn't forgotten this time. Yeah, in fact, I had Ralph Howard there, the oh. voice the voice of Howard 100 News, an unsung hero. And then he was saying his wife is working on the Sex and the City movie, so he must be married to some actress or something. He I is. Guess. He is. Oh. In fact, she's really good friends with Alec Baldwin. That's, that's how I got Alec Baldwin up here the first time. Um, she's a, She was on a sitcom, too, but she's an actress. Yeah, she must be a big deal. You know, Ralph's like one of those showbiz kind of guys, too. Voiceover, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Deep voice. So I saw him there for a while, and then he split, I guess. I just saw a movie on cable TV that he's featured in. His voice is featured in the paper with Michael Keaton. Yeah. The entire opening of the film is Ralph Howard. Huh. Yeah. I didn't know his wife was an actress, because he kept saying, yes, my wife was working on Sex in the City tonight, otherwise <laughs> she would have been there. Does he still keep there. that same voice? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Hello, Howard. Hello, Beth. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> I'm enjoying pizza and beer right now. Yeah. But he didn't come with his wife. No. I don't know. Actually, he wasn't drinking. Ralph Howard doesn't even drink, I don't think. Maybe he was. I don't know. He is. Uh, he's a real nice guy, Ralph. He really is. Uh, what else? Oh, this is a. Uh, Who else did you spend time talking to? Did you get uh, stuck with anybody that you? Well, at, at first get away I. From? Well, first I was talking to some. Uh, I have a hard time talking to Jim, your uh, boyfriend. Mm. Jim yeah, cause Florentine. I, yeah, because I don't know. We like saw each other. We looked at each other. And we didn't have much to say, but <laughs> it's hard. You know, the room is noisy. There's a lot going on. Right. I just wanted to eat. When I ran into Jim, I just wanted to eat. You know how when you're hungry, you just want to eat. You don't want to talk to anyone. You always save yourself for the party, so you're starving. I made a beeline right over to the ravioli. And <laughs> yeah, well, so did I. Because yeah. you know, I had, I needed a little something to hold me off. Well, whenever it's going to be, you know, you guys go to dinner at these nice places, I tried to save myself. Ah, so mm. you had a, a good hunger going, oh, too. Oh, when I was ravenous. <laughs> so they didn't uh, wait to put the food out. The food came out right away. Oh, it was out. By the time we got there, it was out. All right. And we just I just asked for a custom pizza, which didn't take that long. Yes, Ralph. I just heard the funniest thing. I had no idea Scott was there. I was I was like the, I was there from the beginning to the last one to leave, and I didn't even see Scott. What, what, what the fuck is Scott? This is why he doesn't get invited anywhere. People don't notice him. Scott, I swear to I swear to God, I didn't even know he was there. Hello, the loser. hello. Uh. What did he do all night? I don't know. He walked around. He talked. He, the, the, the eeriest guy was uh, Ronnie, the limo driver. What you? What you started to allude to that Earl? You said Ronnie was really weird. Ronnie's like now like. How do you explain Ronnie's new personality, Scott? Ronnie doesn't talk to anybody anymore. Yeah, like he's all angry he, and doesn't Because of talk. what you just did to me. Because 
Jim McClure and his girlfriend were sitting there, and Jim McClure was telling me he had a similar operation, and he was asking about my operation. It wasn't. I didn't volunteer the information. What is that about I, the bowel or what? what your information? fucking intestines fall out of your abdomen oh. and into your balls. That's what happens. Uh, my That's basically what happens. Fell out of and, my abdomen and, and into if my you're balls. Not careful, my if you happen to punch that's, your that's balls, all I said. It wasn't there gross. might be a perforation in your small intestine, and your testicle fills with shit. And Someone tell me. Am I making you nauseous yet? Ralph, call back if you want. Fuck uh, Ralph. <laughs> someone said since your operation, now your penis looks like high pitch Eric's, like there's no penis there. Oh. Now, how would they know that? No, I, I said. What so happened? It, it, it retracts. It goes in like a turtle's head. It goes in all so you the have way. No in. cock. Well, it, it, you know, you don't sometimes. show it at all. In certain positions. When I sit down or something, you mean your penis retracted? Yeah, all yeah. The way. and I asked the doctor. I was at the doctor the other day. I said, "But what my the hell's vagina going on is here? fine." He goes, "Don't worry, it's fluid, it's swelling, it's muscle. It'll it'll get better." Oh, it's gonna mm. go down. Is it's there anything swollen. good in your life? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Believe me, there is nothing good right now. And Ronnie, what is your new personality? I mean, like you're like what? You know, I didn't bother everyone, anybody. No, I know, but everyone just says you're like so angry lately. I wasn't angry. I, I was talking to. I was sitting with uh, Pharrell the whole night yeah. talking to him. I don't know. Everyone What's just wrong says with you're that? You really can't because I, I wasn't a drunken idiot making didn't make an ass out of myself. Now I'm no, yeah. now I'm no good I for that. It. I had no problem with it, but there is something weird going on with you. I mean, I, I let JD take my place. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not want to talk to anybody else? You don't what? circulate I was talk anymore. What are you talking about? You said you spent the whole night with Pharrell. I was sitting with Pharrell and Scott. Yeah, we were doing. What's wrong with that? Talking. But you, you don't move around. We you called. Don't talk we called to into Pharrell's show and we we <laughs> busted ass over there while we were sitting there at the table. Pharrell yeah. wanted us to call in. We called right. in. All right. You don't yeah. go over and talk to Artie. I talked to Artie. Yeah, what are you talking, talking about? Yeah, right. You weren't there. I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, you didn't even show up. Yeah, you didn't even show up. What were you getting your I'm just, thinking, I'm just thinking that. Huh? I'm just thinking poor Pharrell. Mm. What a horrible name. What do you mean, poor Pharrell? <laughs> He's stuck with Ronnie, Ronnie and Scott. Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie well, did, and did you notice oh, how I stayed away from you? Oh, it's not a good table. I, I stayed away from you, and I stayed yeah, away so from you. Yeah, so did I. I figured, you know. Oh, I, well, I, I said hi to you, Scott. You said hi, and that was it. I just I mean, kept my I, distance. What do you want? Why would you keep your distance from me? I talked to Ronnie. anything that I say obviously comes up like this. No, I don't. So. Well, I mean, that's great. And fucking Ralph, I said hello to. I don't know what his problem Nobody is. Nobody remembers you. I was, I was the, well, obviously Except McClure the woman... and his girlfriend remember no, they, me. Uh, Ronnie the, the remembers me. Stop talking about it. <laughs> well, very good. All right, that's very nice. Yeah, fuck everyone. Hey, Ralph, I didn't mean to hang up on you, but I did. Yeah, well, I'm sure people appreciated that. Yeah, I try to keep you in small doses. <laughs> you know, the other weird thing was like. You know, like, you are so monitored. Like, even, like, people who are close to you and stuff, like, all they can talk about is, like, how many pieces of pizza you ate. I know. It is really weird for me. It's creepy. It's like, wow, how it ate. Like, I'm doing Gary's voice, but Gary didn't. I don't remember Gary. But it was like everybody's like, wow, I mean, how the whole, ate five pieces of pizza. I mean, the whole time I'm sitting here, Gary goes, and goes, you know, Bulls, yeah. it's really glad. To, I'm really glad to see you out here having fun with the boys and <laughs> drinking beer. And look at you eating pizza. And every time I'd order pizza, he goes, look at you having another piece of pizza. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. That's why. Right. It's yeah. just getting so odd. He did <laughs> say to me this morning that you cut out at 9.30. Apparently he... No, I didn't. He, 10 o'clock. He checked his watch. On the button. Yeah, was it? 9.30. I was tired. But, uh, but Howard... Even Artie, Artie sat down and he goes, holy shit, Howard's eating pizza. And he said to you, yeah, Howard, hold on, let me finish that. When was the last time, he goes, Howard, when was the last time you had a slice of pizza? What'd you say? <laughs> I said years ago. Yeah, and it was just weird. It's just, it was fun. I know, but why is there, I don't even know what you ate. But I don't. Everyone, I don't watch right? what you eat. But why is it this this whole show is we all look at each other? I, I, can know, be, I know, but it's just like... It was, I know, but now you know what every, it feels like. It wasn't just Gary. It was like everybody... That was the whole... Talk, like all You mean that was going around about. the room? Yeah, it's like... Oh, like, it's, I would eat pizza. You would have thought like... You, you and know. people actually come running in the room to watch me eat the pizza. <laughs> wow. Fucking people are annoying. Yeah, not you, Ralph. No. <laughs> I don't know how many pieces of fucking pizza he ate. I saw him eat pizza. That's why I do that. like hanging around Ralph. People say to me, why is Ralph your friend? I go, because he really... Leaves does, you alone. He does. He doesn't make yeah. a big deal about don't it. Don't watch me fucking pizza. You know what? This could be a whole different day and a whole different party. And Ralph could be calling in saying how many pieces of pizza you ate. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> it, he blows like the wind. I'm telling you, everyone, every minute, like Ross, too. Hey, I see you eating pizza. Yeah. I go, yeah, and you're having beer, too. And like, Kirk goes, it's really good to see you and one of the boys having a beer. Yeah, yeah, Ross I go, was another one yelling yeah, about Oh, Ross was, yeah. uh, Ross, you would have thought uh, the Beatles just reunited. Yeah, can I just sit and fucking eat? He goes, hey, you're having a beer? I go, yeah. He goes, uh... Hey, he's having a beer. Oh. I mean, 
I don't fucking know. But Howard, if if or if we knew Artie for like ten years, right, and we know the way Artie eats, and suddenly Artie hadn't had a cupcake for ten years, it's a pizza party. And, and what then am I he ha- eat? I'm and then he has one. You'd be like, holy shit, Artie's eating a cupcake. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. How could he throw a pizza party and not eat pizza? That's what I was gonna. Yeah, right? I was gonna bring Gary in to watch me take a dump so he could talk about how I wipe my ass. Look at Ooh, you wiping wow. your ass. Paul. He took a dump. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> It was it's a fun tough time. Being you, man. Well, I don't know. I, uh, I, I, evidently, I'm fascinating. You are. <laughs> you, no, you're, you're, the funny thing about when you and Beth leave is not that you leave because listen, you guys threw a great party. It was wonderful and everything. But you're, you're, first of all, you're the two tallest people at the party, and Beth can't leave. The, the, you know, you're so recognizable, and you guys are walking out, and you both go, shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> but it's so obvious you two are leaving, no, and everyone's it wasn't. watching we, we, you. We, 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 a lot of people didn't even know we left. I didn't know you left. Yeah, Gary watches me. I'm not watching you. You walked right Dude, by you, me. You, while you I was watch the... everything I do. Yeah. Were you the first people to leave? No, other people had left. Who? Tony Coburn had left with her husband. Um, other people had left. You know what it was? They they were very prompt about getting the food out. We ate, we drank, we had dessert. Yeah, but you are the host um, of the party. Yeah, well, <laughs> believe me, everyone was having a good time. Gary was the only one who missed you. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no one else really, saw me leave. I, I think it behooves Howard, you yeah, to stay yeah. until stayed. all of your guests. It was it was time. Uh, you walked by. How, how, <laughs> let's ask an etiquette coach but, Robin, again. What is the proper etiquette? Howard here? walks by a bunch of people, and everyone says, "I'm the one." notices and yeah, it's like, you where's no one else every knew. single person said where's howard going <laughs> yeah oh, okay every yeah, single okay. person nobody you're, saw me leave howard you walked by 20 fucking people no are you idea. blind gary you're sitting and counting how many pieces of pizza i ate i didn't count i have no idea what he yeah, okay pizza. every time well oh, Artie said can... he did count five Artie was yeah, a... I got anyway, five. howard you were so drunk you somehow got my voice confused no with you too you no, were like i mentioned it once Artie another brought... beer. but see you just make shit up Artie brought it up like 20 times i did i brought I, it up I, one time Artie I said, did too i know i said to you one time well i can't believe you're drinking pe- beer and eating pizza that's you it that's all i said you can't believe that's all i said you can't believe Artie must have said it three times i don't care I think it was Artie and Ross mostly. Yeah, yeah dude. That Ross was counting too. Oh, yeah, it was me. It was Ross, definitely me. Ross had a counter with him. <laughs> you know one of those he things was a he click? clicked. He was clicking wow. every time you. Uh, I tell it's you. a good thing on this show we we don't watch each other and no, monitor each other. You watch me, and you watch me. I don't see anything. I don't know what you did. I mean, not last night, but generally, no. if we're at a party, you'd be like, "Oh, Gary wore a fucking T-shirt. And he's white trash." <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> it was fun. All right. We had a good time. That's what so we did. So Mrs. Norris didn't come? Nope. To nope. represent the family? No. They're weird, Who's those two. They yeah, don't invite weird. anybody anywhere. They don't Robin, anywhere. Was, Robin was busy laying on the floor getting coffee out of him. <laughs> at <laughs> least I was busy. <laughs> oh, man. Fred was staring at a wall. <laughs> no, I was in Texas. I know. So, Artie, what did you think about the party Howard threw for you? It was great. Very generous. Very nice. Uh... I really felt the love. It was good to, you know, have my second family throw me a surprise party, and it was uh, generous and thoughtful, and I couldn't have had a better time. It was great. And what do you think of Sal and Scott DePace making the pizzas and then throwing sauce around, making asses of themselves? Uh, you know, look, uh, I, uh, I, I conduct myself in a classy manner wherever I am. So uh, the thought of them throwing stuff around. It's so foreign to me, I can't even, it's so beneath me, I can't even think to comment on it. They're animals. They're animals, they're like, uh, they're like untamed jackals in the wild, gnawing at a gazelle that was just killed by a hyena as they circle around like vultures trying to get a piece of meat. They're grotesque. Inhuman, Wait. disgusting animals. Am I done saying so? You're this high society guy. Did you see what he wore to the party? <laughs> he wore. He claims to have gotten dressed Just up. Just an party. example. It was an, like a an bad example t-shirt. of an example of. How, how just the lack of sophistication and manners on every level. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting here trying to do an interview with uh, one of the top in-demand cable networks, and he feels it's necessary to interrupt me. There, you were talking about. They're him. like wild boars, and I use boar in the sense of the animal. N b o r e. They're.